Okay. <clears throat> so, Money in the Bank happened to be, of course, in Toronto. Toronto, where Trish Stratus was. Trish Stratus did get to be the host of it. And, of course, after Tiffany Stratton won, she did run into one Trish Stratus and talked about how she very much wanted to defeat one Trish Stratus. So, here we go. Let's go through this. Let's first go through some of the statistics. Tiffany, born in 1999. So, I uh, had already graduated high school by the time she was born. 5'6", build weight of 143. Trish Stratus, 1975. Build height and weight, 5'5 five, five and 125. So physically, I mean, they're you know, similar heights, relatively close when it comes to comes to weight, so it makes for a pretty compelling matchup right there just from a physical standpoint. So let's, of course, go through this. <clears throat> Strength. Well aware of the fact that Trish Stratus is, of course, a fitness model as well as a yoga instructor, uh, Stratisfaction Yoga is very good. I liked her first DVD set more than her second one. But Tiffany is just a flat-out physical dynamo. Uh, looking at some of the moves that she's actually she actually pulls off, you know the 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 cartwheel Alabama slam takes a tremendous amount of of strength and and agility and overall raw ability. I think she definitely has an ad, advantage over that over Trish. Same with speed. I mean, you're looking at Olympic level gymnast. I mean, she moves around the ring incredibly fast, much faster than we see we see Trish doing. Endurance. I'm also giving this one to to Tiffany. <clears throat> and some of this too is just the, the nature of the beast. While Trish has been having lots of longer matches now, as opposed to when she's in her heyday, you know, Tiffany's out there grinding a lot more, so she has a lot more of just that. You know, her tank is just a little bit a little bit deeper than what Trish has. Gonna be toughness to Trish, and most of this comes down to the ladder match that, not the ladder match, the cage match she had with Becky Lynch, was insane. Actually, that ladder match too, when it was her first ladder match, and she, you know, like, gave herself quite the quite, quite, quite the amount of damage with having never been in one of those sort of matches before. I think Trish recently has been in much more devastating matches. The closest thing I had with Tiffany, you know, beyond the Money in the Bank ladder match, was uh, her, her like her like hardcore street fight that she did with Becky Lynch. And while it was an amazing match, so they both have uh, money to make ladder match experience. I definitely do think that just the match that uh, Trish had the cage match with Becky Lynch definitely gives her an advantage there. Overall striking. I'm going to give this to, to, to Trish. Now for a very long time, one of her finisher was of course a kick finisher. And back in the day when she was, you know, when Trish was at her, her absolute peak, you know, they weren't allowed to do a lot of grappling moves. So a lot of it was just strikes. And she's actually fairly good at them. Her her punches, her kicks, her forearms look look pretty nice. And her having to finish that actually was a forearm, actually was a, a kick works pretty well. Grappling, yeah, this is this is Tiffany. I first thought I'm like, well, you know, what I consider, you know, the, the, the stratisfaction or the stratosphere, I'm like, yeah, those are nice moves. But Trish really needs help pulling them off now. Whereas I mentioned before, Tiffany has that amazing cartwheel Alabama slam. And she's got, you know, some slams, some suplexes. She's been able to do a lot more moves overall when it comes to just the way the way women's freshness has, has truly evolved. She gets to do the exact same moves that men do. And we don't see that as often from, from Trish. She doesn't need it as much. You know, if you look back when Trish was popular, that's when you had someone like a Stone Cold Steve Austin. So you could do punch kicks a few other moves here and there and has all the strength of personality a little bit less than to do with the overall moves you can do in the ring submission well just being canadian she has used the clover leaf and so is a sharpshooter you know she's done she's done both those moves clover leaf not as much you know definitely does use the sharpshooter a lot more i'm pretty sure a lot of people are like well you know canadian they don't have a clover leaf they have a maple leaf which you know, I do this in one take, make a mistake. I'm, I'm sorry. It's, it's, it's probably you do it live. Where I don't see that much from Tiffany. I mean, she, she hasn't had the need to throw those sort of moves out yet. High flying. Yeah, this is Tiffany. Flat out. Yes, uh, Trish did have a few high flying moves. She is nowhere near the level of 
of physicality and flight that we see Tiffany be able to do and do very well. Over with the crowd. <clears throat> yes, the crowd does go nuts for Tiffany Stratton. Yes, the crowd does chant Tiffy time. Uh, if they're at a, a foreign market, she is tremendously over both Trish Stratus, legend status. That definitely does help her. When her music hits, the crowd is going to definitely pop. I think she's definitely just have just an edge. If nothing else, she's a, she's a legend in this industry. Ring psychology. Hmm. I'm going to give this one to, to Tiffany. When she was in NXT, almost everyone looked at her and went, they went, oh, okay, buff Barbie doll, okay. And then they saw her in the ring and they went, oh, oh, she gets it. It's not just doing the moves. You can tell that there's a much better grasp of, of ring psychology. And Trish, very good at this. But I think some of that is when she was really coming up, they didn't, she didn't need to have that tremendous in-ring ability, in-ring IQ. Yes, Fit Finley did let them do some things and did a good job trying to actually go, no, 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 they're women wrestlers. Let's let them wrestle. Where Tiffany has the added advantage of, you know, all of the, you know, she's, she's walking on that, she's walking on that road. Everything's been already paved for her. So she's had a lot more training, a lot more experience, and just, you can tell in the ring that she gets it, she knows when to hit a move, when to stop, when to pause, let the crowd soak it in, when to you know, do a small taunt and get the crowd more invested into it. She really has mastered that act at an incredibly young age. So with her, who knows how good she's going to be in you know three to five years. Mic work. I'm, I'm gonna give the edge in this one to, to Trish. And I think some of that too is Trish has done longer promo sequences recently. And she's very good at them. She's very comfortable with her own skin. She knows what she wants to say. She knows how to get it across. Much better than I do in these sorts of things. But I do think if these two were to get into into a, a you know a match, I think that the buildup for the match, a lot of that heavy lifting is going to be done by Trish to really, really bring the best out of Tiffany. But once it gets into the ring, you know, that's it's Tiffy's time. That's when she's gonna truly, truly take over. Uh, this may be a fantastic match. Yes, I think if you look what Trish has been able to do with Charlotte, you know, it was like, well, can can Trish still hang? Had a great match with Charlotte. Yes, Charlotte was able to help her out in some spots here and there. Then she had a few with Becky Lynch. And it's like, well, can't you do a longer feud? Yes, yes, you can. Is there still is there still some some matches left in that tank? Yes. Well, like these two have a match. Yes, of course. Anything that you can do that can take a pre-established talent, a legend, and you know that person will have the, the ability, the skill, and the desire to really help elevate someone else to a higher level, I think that's just fantastic business all, all the way around. And as always, if you agree, there's the like button. If you disagree, there's the dislike button. If you made it this far, hey, thank you. And, you know, there's always the comment section.